If I choose Fade Symmetrical from the menu, you can now see we have a symmetrical fade between the two objects. If you want to make a symmetrical fade between all four objects, make sure the last three objects are selected, then choose Fade Symmetrical from the left menu. Now press the To All button to transfer the fade to all selected objects. Next, hold down the Alt modifier and pull one of the fade handles to the right. So now we have equal symmetrical fades between all four objects. You can of course change the crossfade shape to suit. If you want to use the same curve on multiple objects, the To All button will achieve this as well. Make sure the required objects are selected. The current selection is fine. I want to add an exponential fade to the left edge of these three objects. Choose the preset from the left menu. Then press the To All button to transfer the fade. Now deselect the last object and select the first object. I'm doing this to avoid putting a fade at the end of the last object. Remember to use the control modifier when selecting. Choose the preset from the right menu, then again press the To All button. You can make fine adjustments to the preset fades by using the faders. Using the mouse wheel moves the values in increments of 10. Using shift plus the mouse wheel gives you increments of 1. Clicking and dragging the fader works in a similar fashion. You can type in the amount if you prefer, or use the up and down arrows of your computer keyboard. Again, use the To All button if you want to transfer the new settings to all selected objects. To move all the crossfades at once, select the last object and deselect the first. Grab the handle at the bottom of the vertical line while holding down the Alt modifier. Now you can move the crossfades of all selected objects to a new position. To move individual crossfades, use the same method but without the modifier. <laughs> 